The Zohar Kadosh says when they go up to Shemaim, there is no judgment. Meaning, it does, you know, whatever a person did in this world that obviously he made mistakes, she made mistakes, they did tshuva for it. Any of those things that they've made a mistake on when they go up to Shemaim, they simply don't exist. Don't exist. Why? The Bed Din doesn't even look at this person. And all of Am Yisrael and all the righteous Noahais that continue to learn with us and contribute to the organization and help us do all the wonderful things that we're doing. Anyone that um, still hasn't uh, received some uh, books, uh, especially the new uh, English uh, Hebrew book that we have on the Kiruv store to distribute in your communities, you can go and get yourself a box of 20 for free uh, on our uh, website. Uh, kiruvstore.org k-i-r-u-v-s-t-o-r-e dot org uh, and uh, bring it to your synagogue, yeshiva uh, local uh, Jewish supermarket Judaica stores and so on there's quite a few people oh Hashem, that I've ordered another uh, few hundred uh, copies uh, were uh, dis- you know sent out today uh, here in uh, the US and Baruch Hashem, uh, thousands were distributed in Israel uh, over the last couple of days, Bo Hashem and our wonderful team over there. Uh, so anyone that hasn't gotten the book, get yourself the book and distribute it. There's the uh, easiest Kiruv opportunity in the world. As the uh, sages teach us, in the name of Rabbi Yehuda Nasi, Rabbi Yehuda Nasi, Rabbi Akadosh, that uh, when he found out the significance of what doing Kiruv is when he saw the uh, the judgment in heaven for his uh, nephew Rabbi Chia. Uh, Rabbi Kadosh was already an old man and he saw that his nephew in Shemaim is treated like royalty to the extent where even other great tzaddikim were not able to reach his level where every tzaddik uh, that got to Gan Eden and if he wanted to go visit uh, different tzaddikim, he wanted to go to the uh, yeshiva of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, or he wanted to go to the yeshiva of uh, Akadosh Baruch Hu, or the yeshiva of uh, uh, Rabbi Akiva, or yeshiva of Moshe Rabbeinu. Each one of them has their own sections. Each time someone wants to uh, go there, they have to have permission, and the angels have to take them there. Whereas Rabbi Chia, because he did Kiruv, was able to go wherever he wanted, whenever he wanted. There was simply no judgment. And that's why the Zohar Kadosh tells us that uh, when somebody makes Zikui Rabim, when somebody makes Kiruv their uh, priority in this world, whether it's by donating money on a regular basis as Maser or Chomesh, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, or they are uh, contributing by uh, their skill, or their time, or they're distributing books, arranging lectures, whatever they're doing, but they're doing it as not just a once in a blue moon when I get a chance, but rather as one of the uh, top priorities they have in their life. The Zohar Kadosh says when they go up to Shemaim, there is no judgment. Meaning, it does, you know, whatever a person did in this world that obviously he made mistakes, she made mistakes, they did tshuva for it. Any of those things that they've made a mistake on when they go up to Shemaim, they simply don't exist. Don't exist. Why? The Bed Din doesn't even look at this person. As soon as a, someone that does Kiruv arrives in Shemaim, pass along, move along. Your, uh, your uh, 310 worlds are uh, ready for you. For each person that you helped do Tshuva, it's 310 worlds. You helped 10 people do Tshuva, you uh, got 3,100 worlds, and so on and so forth. So when I first started, uh, doing Kiruv many years ago, Baruch Hashem, I first started by publicizing Rabbi Ephraim's uh, Shurim on uh, YouTube, and then I started uh, publicizing Rabbi Mizrahi's uh, Shurim and his CDs, and then different books by Rabbi Zamir Cohen. And in so many words, uh, at that time, I literally looked for any opportunity that I could to, uh, to get people to listen to Torah. And, uh, you know, that meant that I had to spend a bunch of money to, to get CDs, to get books, to get all these different things that uh, you know, I wanted to give to people, I didn't get anything for free. Everything that I got, I had to pay for it. And uh, this was already at a time where we were struggling for money. But uh, needless to say, we knew that there's a priority to, uh, uh, to fix. There's a priority to fix ourselves, to fix the status of Am Yisrael. And uh, literally, we would you know, collect whatever we could order some more CDs, order some more books, order some more things to give out to different people. 
and uh, Baruch Hashem, it uh, brought uh, a lot of blessing over the uh, you know over the last uh, decade or and a half or so. And one of the things that boggles my mind now is that uh, you know people are uh, still hesitant to uh, to get books for free, to get USBs for free, and distribute in their communities. It's just mind boggling to me uh, that uh, you know although Baruch Hashem, there are you know countless people that. Uh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of people that have uh, ordered and have uh, distributed in their communities. I honestly think that if people really understood the significance of doing Kiruv, anytime we get another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 books or other things that we get, literally the store should be empty within 24 hours. Uh, if people truly understood the value of it. And uh, it's uh, amazing how hard the Yetzirah works on people to make sure that they do not do the easiest mitzvah in the world for the greatest reward in the world. It's literally uh, the, uh, the easiest mitzvah because you don't even have to pay for it. Sure, we'd love for you to contribute, to donate, to help us. We need it. It uh, costs millions of dollars to do all of this stuff. But the point is, is that uh, when a person not only does not uh, contribute but uh, their, their money, but not even their time, it's just simply mind-boggling to me. Uh, so Bezat Hashem, people uh, understand more and more of what's uh, what's necessary and all of the excuses in the world, whether I'm busy uh, going to uh, yeshiva or I'm busy uh, working or I'm busy and all those things, those are fantastic excuses for a person to say uh, to themselves. But when they go up to Shemaim, uh, they're, uh, they're going to be very, very uh, remorseful on uh, what they missed out on. And that's, uh, you know, that's for the people that are good people. That's for the people that have done tshuva. That's for the people that are uh, going to get to Gan Eden. But when they see what uh, was missed, when they, you know, when they didn't take advantage of opportunities, it's uh, literally almost like a punishment, uh, if not worse. So with that being said, with a little bit of a reminder for everyone, whether you are the locals or you are the ones that are in different parts of the country, uh, everyone needs a little chizuk in, the, in this regards at all times.